One of my favorite poems, Thesaurus by Billy Collins, ends with, I would rather see words out on their own, away from their families and the warehouse of Roger, wandering the world where they sometimes fall in love with a completely different word. Surely you have seen pairs of them standing forever next to each other on the same line inside a poem, a small chapel where weddings like these between perfect strangers can take place. Discovering these harmonious perfect strangers can be a delight. In Osobuco, Collins deliciously serves meat soft as the leg of an angel in a moat of risotto, transforming one of my favorite dishes into a miniature medieval castle. Over breakfast at the Three Pines Bistro, Louise Penny has the soon-to-be-murdered Jane punctuate a key revelation by sending a squall of croissant flakes onto her friend's lap, far more vivid than a snort or puff. My friend James, in his poem, Chinese Chess Master, reveals the curved willow of your back, forever enriching the lives of both willows and backs. So if these fortuitous word weddings are so rewarding, can visual artists play? Well, of course they can. Matchmakers from Hieronymus Bosch to Bansky regularly ushered total strangers down the aisles of satire, humor, allegory, and fable. And what about photographers? Some, like writers and painters, are free to construct their images from scratch, like Man Ray's rayographs, Fran Foreman's photo paintings, and Dwayne Michaels' staged scenes. But more traditional, camera-based photographers must actually find, recognize, and record these fleeting lovebirds standing next to each other in the real world. This photo was one of the few times I was lucky enough to pull this off. Albino boa constrictors and kids' hands are interesting enough, but this child's apparent impulse to pet the boa is startling, risky, and riveting. Photographing these unexpectedly suitable strangers in the wild will never be more than a rare treat, but many thanks to Billy Collins for sharing this wonderful concept.